Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 13th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about streams and buffers. Okay, now before I talk about buffers and streams, I've got this true story I want to tell you. So, there was this guy who lived in the woods and one day he came across this huge Node.js candy rock. So he decides, hey, I'm going to move this big rock to my house so I can feed it to my kids. Now this guy is pretty strong, but even he knows that it would take him an absolute lifetime to drag the whole thing at once to his house. He'd be moving it really slowly and you know his kids are going to get pretty impatient because, well, they're greedy sons. But he has this light bulb moment and he figures out how he can easily transfer all of the rock back to his house quickly. So the week before, he just happened to build a travelator. So he puts it to good use and sets it up between this huge candy rock and his house. And he figures if he hacks away at the rock with a pick and gathers a small heap of candy at a time into a cardboard box, then empty that cardboard box onto a travelator, it will all get to his house bit by bit. And the best part is the kids can start eating the rock as soon as the first heap arrives. They don't have to wait for the whole lot to be transferred first. So, what the hell does a man in a forest cutting a giant candy rock have to do with streams and buffers? Well, this story actually has a lot of similarities to the way that buffers and streams work. So first of all, what is a buffer? A buffer is just a temporary storage spot for a chunk of data that's being transferred from one place to another. So if we have a large amount of data, we want to move from point A to point B, then we can move it a little bit at a time by gathering a small amount of it in a buffer and then moving it on. So we're transferring small chunks of data at a time. So it looks something like this. We have all of the data here and you can compare this to that candy rock in the story. And we want to get all of this data from point A to B. But instead of waiting for all of that data to be stored in memory, what we do is we transfer a little bit at a time and we fill up this buffer. Okay, which is a temporary storage spot for that data. The buffer collects a small chunk of data. And then when the buffer is full, the data can be passed on and processed. Okay, so we know what a buffer is, but what is a stream then? And a stream is pretty much that. It's just a stream of data that flows over time from one place to another. So we'd have some kind of data source over here and we're transferring that to the client. And the data flows down this stream into the buffer, right? Which collects a small chunk of data together. Then when the buffer is full, it passes that chunk of data down the stream to be processed and sent to the client. So you've probably heard about streaming movies online. And this is buffers and streams in action. We have the movie, which is all the data we need to transfer since you want to watch it all. But we don't wait for all of that movie data to be sent in one go before watching it. We just wait for these chunks of data to be sent or to arrive. And then we can press play on the movie. And we generally say that we're waiting for the movie to buffy, right? Uh, buffer, right? So you can see the benefit of this whole idea of streams and buffers right there. We can start consuming data even before it's all arrived. We don't have to gather all of the data in memory first and then consume it. We can do it bit by bit. So why am I telling you all this? What on earth has it got to do with Node.js? Well, we can create streams to read and write files in Node.js, which because of the way streams and buffers work can increase the performance of your application. And that's also true when we're dealing with requests on our node server and we're sending data back to the client to be consumed. So this all ties in together. So now we know how streams and buffers work. We're going to go ahead in the next tutorial and we're going to create some streams and see how they work in Node.js. I'll see you guys. Then. 